Hey guys, it's Real Low Bermuda here bringing you another lawn care video. In today's episode, we're going to be tuning up a string trimmer and a leaf blower and showing you how you can do it at home in just a matter of minutes. Let's roll that intro. Alright, so uh, if you go down to, um, I went down to Home Depot and bought these kits. Uh, you can get them on uh, websites as well. Uh, not very expensive, but ultimately the kit comes with the filter, the air filter, the fuel filter, and then a new spark plug. And so uh, each kit, you know, is designed for, for different models and then, then you have your kits that are also designed for your leaf blower um, and so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna install these these simple at-home kits and um, just show you just how easy it is to tune the tune these units up all right so the first thing we're gonna do is remove the leaf blower filter cover take that filter out And keep in mind, this is only after one year of use. You can kind of see just how dirty that is. That's why it's important to service these things once a year. Uh, then we'll do the same thing on the string trimmer. Just gonna unscrew this cover. And take that filter out. Again, you can kind of see just how dirty that is. Next thing we'll do is remove the spark plug. take that cap off and then we'll need to unscrew that with a wrench same thing on the leaf blower Alright, now we'll get a wrench to uh, unscrew those. So you take a three quarter inch socket. Kind of see again. One year use, a lot of build up there. Let's take a look at the uh, spark plug on the string trimmer. And I'm using these about twice a week. So for some of you that might be heavy usage, for some of you that might be light usage, uh, but either way, uh, at minimum, you wanna service these once a year. If you're using it more than once or twice a week you may consider servicing it more than once a year again check that out hopefully that will focus and kind of see it's definitely uh, needing to be replaced 
And then the last thing we're going to replace is the fuel filter. And uh, what you need to do before you do that is make sure that you uh, don't have any fuel. And as you can see, got lots of fuel in there. So I'm going to go ahead and empty that back into the tank or into uh, yeah my gas can. And uh, then we'll look at how to replace that. All right, so one of the first things we need to do uh, is make sure that uh, we've drained the fuel out of the uh, fuel tank. And so the way I do it, and I know I have pretty clean fuel in there, is ultimately I'm just gonna pour it back into a fuel tank can. Hopefully not make too big of a mess. That's a big hope. Shit, already making a mess. See there? Get that on video. You don't have to get it completely empty. Um, Ultimately, you just got to be able to get that fuel uh, filter out of there, so it's not that big of a deal. We'll do the same thing with the uh, leaf blower. So now that those tanks are empty, we'll be able to install the new fuel filter. All right, so what you wanna do here is get a uh, screwdriver, or you can even use like a, a clothes hanger with a little hook on the end. But ultimately what you're trying to do is just uh, fish that fuel line out of the tank. Um, before you do that, you wanna take that, uh, if you have a a lid holder you can take that out and get that out of the way and so now you just look down in there you look for that fuel line and you just want to kind of fish it up out of there you notice I'm wearing gloves because I kind of have to stick my finger uh, in there to to really reach it and then also when you when you're working with the fuel filter it's gonna be soaked and saturated with fuel so it's always a good idea to have gloves on during that process. And you can see at the end of the fuel line, uh, the fuel filter is attached there. The hose is just kind of uh, on that lip and then there is a, a, a clamp. So the first thing you want to start to do is sort of slide that clamp down And hopefully, as long as your fuel lines aren't old, uh, they'll still be in really good shape and they won't tear. Uh, but if your fuel line starts to break apart, you'll either have to cut that end off completely or you're going to have to replace your entire fuel line. Uh, luckily, my fuel lines are still in good shape. No tearing or breaking or, at all. So I've got that clamp down. Now that that's loose, then you can just turn, you hold the, the line with one hand and the fuel filter in the other, just kind of slide it right off. Pretty simple process. You kind of see how dirty that fuel filter is. That's what we're gonna be replacing. Make sure you don't lose that clamp because that does not come with the kit. So you wanna make sure that you reinstall that clamp onto the new filter. So you can see the new filter there, how white and clean that is. And it's really amazing how much difference that that's gonna make in the performance. 
uh, of your fuel uptake and your, how your engine performs. You'll be able to notice an immediate impact uh, the very next time you start that up. So now I'm just working it back on the hose. Then I'm gonna slide that clamp back into place. And usually I'd fast forward these videos to save time, but I really wanna show you uh, just how quick the actual process works uh, without, um, without speeding up time. Because a lot of times I feel like you guys are intimidated by these home projects and you think that you're not qualified or experienced enough to do it. And the point here is to show you that literally anyone can do this with no experience whatsoever. And so now that that fuel filter is back on, the clamp is in place, you're just gonna feed that back down into the bottom of the tank. That's done. And then now you're gonna put your cap holder back in the tank. That's all she wrote. Then we're going to unscrew our air filter cover. And we had already taken out that dirty filter. Now we're going to replace it with our new clean filter. And you can either put it in the tracks there in the cover, or you can place that filter directly back on to the unit itself. Sometimes one way works better than others and I don't, I don't know the best method for it but getting it just making sure you get it lined up nice and nice and straight you want that filter to have a good connection and so right here i'm a little concerned that it wasn't lining up so i'm going to just go ahead and actually put it on the unit just to make certain now that it's it's in there correctly and then you're just going to screw that cap back on You can tell my OCD, I'm always double checking and triple checking things just to make sure that I have everything lined up right. And maybe gonna quadruple check that. So as quickly as this process went, it would go even go any, even faster without double checking myself over and over and over again. And the final step for the string trimmer is just to screw the new spark plug back in. You can see the drastic difference between the new plug and the old plug after one year of use. So guys, sometimes, you know, I've talked to, talked to buddies of mine, they've gone, you know, five years. Sometimes they'll have a almost a 10 year old uh, weed eater and they're thinking about replacing it because it's not running well anymore and they've never once tuned up their unit. And, and so there's never a need to replace these unless you've extended all your options and you just maybe you have some sort of engine breakdown or something like that, but it's really easy to maintain these units. Sorry for that bad camera angle there. And a good rule of thumb is don't try to screw your spark plug in upside down. There we go. Now we're screwing it in right. And then once you hand tighten that, you can get your uh, socket wrench, your three quarter inch socket wrench and tighten that back down. You wanna get it nice and snug. You don't really want to over tighten it, but you can you can cinch it down pretty tight. You definitely don't want any kind of moisture or water or anything dripping into there. And some people actually put, you know, a little bit of grease or lube in there um, for that connection. But I, I don't really find that's necessary. And then now just pop that cap back down till you hear it click. And then that's done.
That's, that's the whole process. All right, so now we're gonna do the same exact thing with the leaf blower, except I am gonna speed this up since you saw real time on the string trimmer, but ultimately it's the same exact process. Fish your fuel filter out, remove the clamp, slide that off the hose, Take your new fuel filter out, feed it back onto the fuel line, place the clamp in place, and then feed it back into the tank. Replace your cap, insert your new fuel filter, make sure you get that seated on there properly, screw in your new spark plug, Tighten it down, and you're done. So that's all you do, guys. Um, that whole process took me about 15 minutes. Uh, it's really simple, and it's something that literally anyone can do at home. Just go buy your spark plugs, your filter, uh, your air filter, your fuel filter, and hopefully uh, your uh, manufacturer makes it in a kit like Echo does. I'm sure all manufacturers do. It's really simple, but even if not, even if they don't, you can go down to any hardware store, get those get those items, and replace them very easily. And so, don't ever worry. Have, think you have to take your your string trimmer to get it serviced. You know, sometimes you pay 100 bucks, 150 bucks uh, for the string trimmer in the first place, and then you take it and get it serviced for 100 dollars. When uh, the that kit cost me $17.99 and it took me 15 minutes so uh, hopefully you learned some things today and again I uh, mention this all the time but it really is important uh, as I'm trying to build this channel on YouTube um, if you like my videos and you'd like to continue to see more content from me it's a real simple process hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell and that way anytime I post lawn tips in the future uh, you'll be the first ones there to be able to take advantage of that information and hopefully learn how to take your lawn to the next level. It's Real Low Bermuda, signing out.